Hey, this is Matt Grasso with Cloverleaf Audiovisual. I'm here with a Taylor Sound tip of the day, how to properly over under wrap a mic cable. So the way I was taught was to take the connector for the cable in your right hand, get about a shoulder width worth of cable in your left hand, take the cable, pinch with your fingers and roll away from yourself. And you'll see what that does is it creates this nice little twisted loop. And to check the size of the loop, I usually start and make sure it's about the size of my head plus enough for my fingers. If it's too big, like this, I'll check it and pull it till it's about the size of my head and a couple fingers. If it's too small, well, I'll just open it up and then do the same thing, like this. That's about how big the first loop should be. Then every loop after that should be the exact same size. For the next loop, you're gonna take about a shoulder width of cable, pinch and roll towards yourself instead of away from yourself. So what that does, you'll see here, it creates a little loop that goes the opposite direction. And it'll tuck right behind the previous loop you made in your hand, like this. And then what you're going to do is alternate every single loop. So the next loop for me is going to be pinched and rolled away. It'll tuck in front of that previous loop, pinch and roll towards myself. It'll tuck right behind that previous loop. Sometimes the cable, the slack cable will start to twist like this. Just shake it out, run your hand down the cable, get rid of any of those little twists and loops, and you may need to do that periodically throughout the process. Again, shoulder width worth of cable, away, towards. And when you get really fast at it, it'll look like this. I usually try to finesse the cable at the end, so every loop is about the same size. You can see there, everything sits evenly together. You don't want these connectors to hang down too far past the rest of the cable. This is about how you want it to look right here. Um, anywhere from on the top of the loop here down to about halfway down the loop. What you don't want is this. That's sloppy. It doesn't look nice. The loops are different sizes. The connectors hang down too far. So I would take my thumb in the middle of this loop here and try to find the cable sections that are too small and pull them out a little bit and finesse the cable so everything is about the same size. Ideally, your cable should have a Velcro tie on it so that when you're done wrapping your cable, you can pull the cable tie to between the two connectors in what you would really consider the top part of your loop and then wrap it up just like that. And that is how to wrap a mic cable. Rock on.